This video is sponsored in part by Windcatcher RC. More on them later. Let's fly them off it. All right, what is it? It's a Moffet. It's a no-name Moffet. Yeah, we need a name. Oh, well. But by the time that we release this, it will have a name. So. Whatever its name shall be. It has not flown yet. This is an entirely new design. So, uh, test glide. Get the nose down. There you go. Well, that was promising. Very promising. All right. And yeah, your rest is missing. We'll deal with it later. Poor chicken. Get out of the way, Paul. Um, try the uh, other hand. There we go. <laughs> Can I come in now? No, Paul. No. <laughs> hey, you know, I haven't even tried something here. I want to try one thing. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, we'll deal with that before we fly it. <laughs> Oopsies. How many turns do you want to put in there? I don't know, about like, I don't know, 250. So you can start working your way in. Not Paul. Your name is Mommy. Your name is Paul. Oh man, there is so much drama. Mm hmm. Yeah, drama. Yeah, I would get a better grip on that rubber motor before you do that. There you go. The poor chickens are starving, are eating. I just let them out. Oh, okay. No, you gotta wrap it around the other way. Wrap it around the other way. There you go. Don't let it go. Ah, uh, no, Paul. No, Paul. Paul, let me get the nose block in first. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, now we gotta pause for a minute. Okay, so now we're back. Here, you want me to get that? Yes, please. You're allowed to have an assistant. Does a deer like the plane? Yeah, probably not. They're always snorting at us. Uh, Hope, where's the wind coming from? <laughs> all right let's see what we got here i would get the nose up a little and just give it a good not that much hold it up a little higher above you there you go and just give it a good shove yeah hit that <laughs> that was awkward we took out the right thrust and also gave it a little bit of um um Left rudder. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, that's a lot better. That was not terrible. All right. Well, that moves right out. It does have a right turn. Oh. 
Wow. Nice slide. Can I hit the DT now? Uh, wait till it's no longer over the house. Okay. Yeah, just let it keep coming. Okay. Man, that glides good. Alright, any time now. That is an awesome airplane. Alright, here we go. Definitely a little nose up this time. You don't have to hold it that high, but I would tilt it to the right. And a little more nose up. There you go. Oh yeah. So we took out, to put the right thrust back in as it wasn't turning real well. And now it is. Uh, hit the DT, please. This way I don't have to dig it out of a tree. Hopefully. That thing climbs like a banshee. Caleb, don't clutch it. Nice. All right, who is Windcatcher RC? Well, Windcatcher RC is an outfit run by my buddy Lee Krieger. I got to know Lee because he is into uh, importing of carbon fiber right here. So we buy the overwhelming majority of our carbon fiber products from Lee. Lee has some really great talents. Uh, he runs, uh, so first of all, he's been able to source this carbon at really phenomenally low costs and so we like I said we use it in most of our, uh, our most of our kits that require carbon fiber components there are a few that require specialized carbon um, and so I'm still getting that from elsewhere but the like 90 I'd say 98 percent of our carbon fiber purchasing is coming from Windcatcher RC Windcatcher RC uses their profits to sponsor really cool stuff so if you've seen Ben Harbor's C47 build um, there's some other stuff that, uh, that, that they've sponsored, and, and then uh, Lee came alongside me and said, Hey, uh, I'd, I'd like to sponsor a project with you to do something special. So I can't tell you what all that is. Right now I can tell you that, you know, the, the foam Mulvey Hill is the beginning of that project. This has been a pretty expensive project, and so um, Lee has provided us with special equipment. You may have noticed me using a different winder in this video. This is the king of all winders. This is the Alex Andrikov winder. Made in Ukraine. It is the coolest thing ever. It's got the... Um, sorry, that's just the screw. This is what I was trying to show you. It's got... Uh, I don't know what Ukrainian coin that is. I don't know if you can even see it. There you go. Right there. And you can see the uh, all the insignia on it. This, okay, guys, this is an expensive winder. And some of you, if you see the price for this, your eyes are just going to water at the price. Um, in addition to the fact that it's beautiful, that is a, an integral turns counter. And this is a torque meter. Let's see. Yeah, here's the window on it. This is seriously the nicest winder ever. It is smooth as glass. And so I'd like to thank Lee for that. So this one is mine. Um, the, I'm fairly confident it's gonna fly well, cause Hopes did. Uh, this one's slightly different from hers. This one has more dihedral in the center panel. So uh, that's just to experiment and see what different thermal dynamics we can get. So I'm fairly confident it's gonna fly well. Uh, really just a thing of dialing it in. I don't know what rudder setting I'm going to need. Hopes just needed uh, rudder because we ended up reversing all the thrust line adjustments. So I've got it balanced. I've got it loaded up. This is a propeller supplied to me by David Mills, or at least the blades are. I built the rest of the hub. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to see how this goes. All right, so first test glide. Needs a little more incidence. I kind of figured that. I had some stab tilt, and uh, so that shimmed out some incidence. All right, so I unscrewed the incident screw a little bit. Let's see how this does. Well, that was cruddy. Bad launch. All right, let's try that better this time. 
looking good still maybe a little nose heavy but i think we're going to fly it like this it definitely does need left rudder chickened out added more incidents and left rudder still a little nose low interesting all right better bad launch bad air but we're looking good All right, 240 turns. Well, it's getting away in a very tight right-hand circle. Very strong climb. I think it could use a little bit more of that uh, left rudder. Could also use some fixing there. Oh, look at that stalling. Gotta fix that too. Down she comes. All right, so I added a little bit of left thrust here. Reduced our incidence angle back down um, since it was stalling over the, all over the place. And I'll probably have to dial out a smidge more yet. Then I added a uh, down thrust shim. And lastly, unscrewed this guy a little bit more to get a little better lock up on that. Ah, once again on 240 turns. Get up there. Should probably talk about launching into some bad air, and I done messed up a run. All right, added a little bit more left rudder. Let's see how this goes. Not again. Not again. Oof. Now we're out of the down air. It definitely needs less down thrust. It's got way too much. Well, that's gonna need fixing. It actually needs a little up trim. Interesting. So we took out we added some incidents back in, and I also took out a little more down thrust. Now this is definitely up in the lift. Got that spring stop finally fixed. Turn looks good, and we'll DT it there. Just to try keep it out of trees, I don't know if I'm going to be successful. Looking okay. Yeah, we're safe. Nice. Okay, so I fixed the stab. It was completely just a mess. Uh, anyway, seemed to be caused by too much right thrust, so put a little shim up here and down here to reduce that. So hopefully that'll get that under control. We can get on with it. Did it stall stall out this time? It did, but Got 
a nice glide, real nice glide. All right, so this bound joint here had popped loose and it was causing me to fail to generate enough thrust. So we fixed that. Hopefully it'll fly properly now. Generating full thrust at torque because torque thrust mismatch makes a mess of trim. That looks about right. Other than that crazy saw stuff, oh, I guess I just launched in the most giant thermal ever. Yeah, I did. Good thing I got RDT on this side. Look at it up there. Just look at it. I think it may have fallen out of it now. Prop fold. Nope, still in lift. Look at that. <laughs> Dang, son. Oh, now it's fallen out. Big time has fallen out of it. That's hilarious. Now let's get back around here. And down for a safe landing. Nice. All right, a little more power. Well, it launches straight up now. It does stall. Lot. I think it's just in big lift again. Look at that. Alright, we're DTing that down. That is too the heck high up there. As it is, it's still gonna be tough retrieving. That is way out there. I hope it's not across the tree line. Gonna find out right about now. Oh, it's safe. Yay. moment where I chicken out what the glide looks like. Wow. Launched into massive, massive lift there. I'm going to circle around. I wish I'd put an altimeter on this. It wasn't even full power. It's going to be off in the trees this time. Yay. This will be fun. All right, so way off field here. Um, if you look way back there, you can see kind of um, where the house is maybe. I don't know how well it shows up, but uh, I'm out here a bit. So this is about on the, the intersection of the trees where the plane came down. Because I think 
those are the two tall trees I was sighting off of. So the plane should be in this general area. Um, goodness. I don't know how far back in the woods it went. So should be out that way. So we've got this fence that I have to climb over. I've dealt with this several times. I hate climbing people's fences, but oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. That's the plane right there. Oh my. Dang. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's fantastic. All right, so I don't even need a retrieval pole because it's on the ground. I just got to get over the fence and get the plane and then come get a retrieval pole. So, yeah. Well, guys, uh, yeah. So I consider this to be trimmed. It's made a couple of successful vertical launches out of my hands, which means it'll get off the table fine. Um, this is my first successful Moffat that I've designed. Flies great. I like it. I really like this one. Um, yeah, this is the ticket. So we'll fly it at the Nats and see how she does. Uh, it's really down to my uh, doing a good job flying it at this point. Uh, Hope has one as well, as you've seen. So one of the two of us hopefully will do uh, do something good. But yeah, there it is. Hopefully we'll name it someday. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.